everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Vasam. I am Madhu and today we will be learning about Alcium, least common multiple. Okay, so now, what is Alcium? The least common multiple of any two numbers is the smallest number which is multiple of both the numbers. What is a multiple? Multiples are what we get after multiplying the number by an integer. For example, the multiple of 2 are 2 times 1 is? Yes, 2. 2 times 2 is? 4. 2 times 3 is? 6. And keep on going. I'll just tell you one clue. Multiples never end. They keep on going. No matter whatever you do, it just keeps on going. Okay, prime number. A number that has exactly two factors, which is 1 and the number itself. Examples 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and more. So on. Okay, now let's look at method number 1. Let's see how to find the LCM. We need to find the multiples of the given number until we find the least common multiple. Okay, for example, if we need to find the LCM of 3 and 4, we will first write the multiples of 3 and 4. So we have it written down here. Now, the least common multiple is 12. You ask me why, and I know that question you will have. 24 and 24 is same. Why didn't I pick that? The reason I didn't, because the, the whole basic meaning of whatever you want to say about least common multiple is that it's least. So that means least means in the way that it's a first common multiple, which means least, so the least common. So 24 is also same, but 12 is the least, it's the first, it comes first, it's the smallest, it's the least, the whatever you want to say. So 12 goes first, so that is our LCM of 3 and 4, which is 12. Now let's look at another method. We write the given numbers in a row separately, then divide the numbers by a common prime number. We stop dividing after reaching 1. The product of prime number is your LCM. That might be confusing, so we'll do an example together. Actually, three examples. Okay, we'll take the same numbers, three and four. Okay, so let's first see what number we can divide and make sure all the numbers you're dividing with must be a prime, okay? So we'll take three, for example. Yeah, three. So three by three is one. Four and three, when you divide them, you're not gonna get a whole number. You're going to get in decimals and we're not going to go into that topic now. So when you, when, you, when you divide the numbers, you must get a whole number or else leave the number as just what it is. So we'll leave it as four. Now, we'll take the number two. Okay, so now when you reach to one, don't even bother about that number. Just leave it as it is. So it will it'll be as one. Just forget about the number. It's reached one. It's ten. It's duty. It's done. Now four by two is two. Now we'll we'll take um two, and remember one is done. Two by two, which is one. Now both our numbers reached one. Now it's time to multiply, which is three times two times two, which is twelve. So that's another method. You might wonder, I could just do that method like for most, like for the whole time. But the reason why we do this is that you'll get big numbers. It may be two digit, three digit, but so this will help you for that. You can keep on multiplying each time and then finding which one matches. This one would work, I'm telling you, trust me. Now this time we'll take four numbers, six, four, eight, three. They're all single digits, but we'll take four numbers. Now we'll take the digit 2, okay? So 6 by 2 is 3. 4 by 2 is 2. 8 by 2 is 4. And 3 2, not going to work, so we'll keep it as 3. And now we'll divide it by 2. 3 and 2, not going to work, so we'll keep it as 3. 2 by 2 is 1. 4 by 2 is 2. 3 2, mm -mm, 3. So now we'll take the number. 2. So 2 and 3, not going to work. We'll keep it as 3. And remember, our 1 has reached. It's done all its duty. So it keeps going as the number it is, 1. So now 2 by 2 is 1. And 2, 3, 3. Just keep it as 3 because it's not going to work. Now we'll take the number 3. So 3 by 3 is 1. Already got our two 1s. 
and 3 by 3 is 1. Okay, so now let's see. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24. So our LCM for 6, 4, 8, and 3 is 24. You got it. This time, I'm going to give a challenge. We'll do a challenge, shall we? We'll take three two-digit numbers. Remember, it can go for three-digit, four-digit, name it. Okay, so we'll take two. So 24 by 2 is 12. 20 by 2 is 10. 18 by 2 is 9. Now we'll take two again. So 12 by 2 is 6. 10 by 2 is 5. 9 by 2, we're definitely not going to get a whole number. So 9. We'll take the number 2 again. So 6 by 2 is 3. 5 by 2, mm -mm. 9 by 2, mm -mm. keep the numbers. Now we'll take the number 3. So 3 by 3 is 1. 5 by 3, uh -uh, not pairs. So we'll keep it as 5. And 9 by 3 is 3. We'll take the number 5 now. So R1. It's done all its duty, so it stays as 1. So 5 by 5 is 1. And 3 by... Uh, uh, I wouldn't go any with it. So we'll keep it as 3. We'll take the number 3 for final. So 1 and 1, done. 3 by 3 is 1. So we've reached all 1. Good job. I see. Give a pat on your back. I, give, I gave mine. Okay, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 is 360. You, I think you got the grip of what LCM is and how to find them. So, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, like, make sure to like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. And make sure if you have any questions, mention them down in the comments. I will surely reply to them. Bye bye!